Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm gonna go straight in for an Eden run. We crossed 300 tokens. That's a little bit of a milestone, I guess. Telepathy for dummies, juicy sack, and we start with a pill, of course. Is that- oh my god. Okay. I, ha I almost feel like I should restart the run because people are gonna be so mad at me. Just for having another great run. It's not necessarily set in stone yet. Wouldn't it be great if this was Hematomesis? Alright. I maybe got a little bit too big for my britches too early there. Last run was amazing. Uh, this run has started fairly strong. And if there's anybody out there shouting Northern Line, you gotta use telepathy for dummies. You gotta get your priorities in check, man. If I can't shoot straight at enemies that are not moving, I got bigger problems than whether or not I'm using telepathy for dummies. I will try to use it because, you know, on the, on the surface with telepathy for dummies, it's like having half... At best, it's like having half of Spoonbender. However, oh, we got so lucky to get that fly killed before things got super annoying here. But uh, you also have to give up your spacebar slot for it, which is terrible. However, you know, all things considered, that's not that terrible of a start. I would like to replace it with something better, but th this is actually a pretty good one. A juicy sack. I like the creep. I, you know, I've talked to, maybe not ad nauseum, but I've talked a lot about how I think the creep is actually... Uh, on most items is maybe a little bit underrated, and the fact that it spawns spiders is just a juicy little side benefit. Let's use Occam's second secret room razor. Didn't work at all there. I'm starting to, I'm still clinging to the notion that my null hypothesis of Occam's second secret room razor is correct. All evidence is pointing to the contrary right now. Not all evidence, but uh, a lot of our recent tests are pointing to the contrary right now, but uh, you know, it's, it's hard for me to give up on that dream. How is it possible that this guy is still spawning dingles this late in the game, man? There were like four of them on the screen. Dingle berries, I should say. There were like eight of them kind of just chilling about. It made it very difficult for me to figure out how I was going to get the heck out of the way, but uh, Juicy Sack, I didn't even realize, but is a super hard counter for Dingle. Last run, of course, I mean, I, I kind of have shied away from talking about last run because it was actually one of those runs where I'm embarrassed about how it went, not because it was bad, but because it was too great. Tammy's head, Death's Touch, Chocolate Milk, crazy damage. Happy to have the speed upgrade here, actually. Rarely will I take this time on the first floor anymore, but I am hoping to... There's a couple of good conditions for us. If we get a bomb, we can blow up our donation machine, get to five cents, buy a spirit heart, and be protected for our next deal with the devil. If we get three cents, we can use our key, go to the shop, buy a spirit heart, probably at least and uh, have a good shot at our deal with the devil on the next floor. If there's no spirit heart, at least the extra money would allow us to probably spawn an arcade, or at least have a chance to spawn an arcade, giving us a blood bank, giving us the ability to play, yeah, I'll try this, giving us the ability to play that blood bank, get five cents, buy a spirit heart on that floor. There's a couple of different outs here, but it is possible that none of those come to fruition. We got two bombs, we could also, you know, feel relatively good looking for our secret room first, but, uh... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Because for now, it's a toll bridge, and we don't even have any change, and we're driving up to the toll bridge at, you know, 55 miles an hour. Roughly 80 kilometers an hour. I just like to localize it, you know, so everybody knows what's going on. And we're saying, oh shit, I don't have any change, how do we pay for the toll? Who carries change these days? Massachusetts, uh, Transportation Authority? You gotta get some kind of like credit card swiper or something, otherwise it just doesn't, uh... How are you? You're not gonna be able to collect. Anyway, we, uh, unfortunately, none of our dreams came to, uh, reality there. Got a weirdly, like, synthetic look on Eden here. We have like a Tron Legacy version of Eden. I don't think that can actually contain anything, but we shot it regardless. And this floor actually looks like it could be, uh, kind of a pivotal moment for us. Oh, that's real bad, yep. Probably should- I, I wanted to uh, get out of there so I was in less of a vulnerable position, but uh... I'm tempted to kind of go to our curse room right now. Uh, I, I just- I decided to kind of like stick with it in that one spot. That wasn't an oversight, I actually was like, I'm gonna just try to dodge the bullets as they come out. Which maybe it was an oversight thinking I'd actually have the uh, ability to do that. Oh well. This actually makes things interesting, you know, we haven't had a uh... A non-deal with the devil on the second floor in quite some time. This definitely throws in an element of uh, uncertainty, which is very interesting. And means that we're going to have to start to capitalize on maybe the fourth floor, or third floor, sorry. Oh, that's real bad. Okay. Cool it. 
In our self-sacrifice room, we have a full heart that we can draw from. Fucking champions, man. Okay. The shop is on the way as well. I might want to buy a spirit heart, more so for survival than anything else. So let's pick this up. I gotta be very careful I don't just walk on spikes. Um, let's go find our item room first, because we don't really have any impetus to fight the boss right away. I figured it would have to be pretty close. Alright, we've got the, the shot speed necessary to have an effective range necessary to just stay the hell away from these guys. And as long as they keep spawning their infants into the fire here, that should make my life relatively easy. Spider didn't finish that off. I'm a little bit amazed, actually. A lot more HP than I'd originally anticipated. Instead of here, we get Dead Bird. Not a particularly strong item. Thank you, Dark Bum. Finally, we had a chance for Dark Bum to get a payout that I didn't actually need. Which is a good thing. This is also like the least tinted rocks I've seen on a, the first two floors in quite some time. Thought maybe we'd find a crawl space over there. That's not me trying to complain my way into earning or at least receiving some tinted rocks. Never fear. I think we can survive regardless. We should survive regardless anyway, so we're up to seven cents. That does give us the possibility to buy something. I'm hoping to find maybe like another red heart here and just have a, a spirit heart drop. Oh, another penny. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's look for a uh, let's look for our secret room right here. Bad luck. Well, probably exactly the luck that you would expect, but that that strikes me as bad in our current situation. I'm gonna buy the spirit heart. I don't think Mom's key was a, a very likely goal for us on this floor anyway. And now we just hope that we fight Pin. And there it is, okay. Relatively easy. I'm Telepathy for Dummies, as much as I've kind of talked it up as maybe being not one of the worst books in the game, on this run at least, uh, I actually feel like if you can aim at the enemy, it's kind of a liability because it could, could cause your shots to veer off course to hit like minions instead of the actual target that you want, but I guess Pin doesn't really have any minions. Sure, with 10% of his life left, let's pop Telepathy for Dummies. Telepathy for dummies, man, should give you like a $3 bill effect for the room that you use it on, too. Little Steven, and we actually did get a deal with the devil, which we should not have. But, I guess I'm glad that we did. I'm not a huge fan of the razor blade, but we took it regardless. And I am going to go into the curse room as well. I took it mostly for a uh, deal with the devil precedent. Whether or not I actually end up using it remains to be seen, but I figured we never use the razor blade. Telepathy for dummies kind of sucks as is, why don't we try it out? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a really good deal with the devil. Or a really good uh, curse room, I should say. Why did our tears turn red after we picked up little Steven? Was it after we picked up little Steven? I think it was after we picked up little Steven. That's strange to me. Uh, the goat head pickup, we've had it so much lately, but I'm never going to complain about it. It's an amazing one. Not only have we had the goat head a lot lately, but it's been showing up... Uh, I don't want to say exclusively, but it's been showing up a lot on early floors, which is something that you don't often expect with Goathead. We have so many like anecdotal experiences of just having absolute shit luck with it. It's showing up super late, for example. Uh, I am going to open both of these. Fate would be awesome. That's okay, too. Basically, we traded a key for a bomb and then a key for two cents. It's, a, it's not a good trade. But it could be worse. And one of the red hearts that we got was actually turned into a, a spirit heart. So I'm content with that. Uh, I may start using the razor blade a little bit because we have Dark Bomb. I mean, Dark Bomb is going to give us... Uh, the hope, at least, is that Dark Bomb gives us a surplus of HP. And if Dark Bomb gives us a surplus of HP, we should be uh, completely fine to use the razor blade. Almost like a Book of Belial type deal that hurts us. Um, maybe not immediately is this our best course of action, but we'll... We'll cross that bridge as we come to it, and there will be multiple bridges. It's it's going to be like a Jeff and Bo Bridges type of thing. Hopefully more like a Jeff Bridges. No offense meant to Bo. It's noteworthy just to have made your career as a professional actor. You know, that's something that not everybody gets. But, yeah, certainly a little bit more Big Lebowski, a little bit less Free Willy 4. For me personally. If I was 8, I might feel differently. Maybe. Okay, so just... Get away forever here. Uh, don't like that at all. Yep, I am not doing quite as much damage as I would like. So in a way, I guess the Razor Blade is good. With the Goat Head and Dark Bump, you could probably go so far as to call this a one run. 
it's a little early, but I don't say people are always like, oh, why don't you just call one runs on the character select screen, you cocky dork? And I'm like, well, it's not really to be cocky. It's more to kind of, it's out of respect for you guys that I don't want to lie to you. And I feel like if you get a few above average items to start with, there's probably like an 80% chance that you end up winning the run. Like 80% greater than normal chance that you end up winning the run, and the normal chance is already pretty high. It's not me saying I don't want you to watch the video. Say, hey, wait, where are you going? Just me trying to, you know, be honest about it here. Anything could still happen. And for sure, the razor blade is not quite the coup that I've come to expect in deals with the devil, but uh, if we're setting the stage, dramatically speaking, oh my god. Um, we gotta imagine that right now we're not that strong, but we're like long term very successful. You know, Godet is like, it, it changes the medium of the game. Instead of like, you know, walking, you're swimming. Now with swimming, it takes a little while to get up to top speed, but once you get up to top speed, you can kind of drift for, well, a little better than you can in the air. Wait, what am I talking about? Not in the air, on the ground. Two different things. It's like being in space, you know? Objects in motion stay at motion, objects at rest uh, stay at rest. I'm taking a lot of damage here that I'm not thrilled with at all. At some point, we're going to have to pay the Krampus tax. Honestly, I would rather do it right now, early in the game. Just to get it out of the way while the enemies are still relatively easy, like... Excuse me? What the hell happened there? I wanted that tarot card! Alrighty then. Chad shouldn't be too bad. Tell you what, I will use the razor blade just to... It also activates dead bird, but um, the extra damage is nice, I guess. And with little Chad, I mean, I didn't actually talk about it when we got in here, but now that I think about it, little Chad plus dark bomb is that classic like dark bomb combination where little Chad is not very good, but with dark bomb it all of a sudden becomes amazing, so I'm very happy to have it here. And in here we have some actually meaningful items. I am. I can only take one. I'm going to take Guppy's head. Book of Belial is sort of better. I don't want to say better. Guppy's head gives us the flies every room, which is another way for us to immediately have damage. Like this is this was my reasoning in kind of uh, in abstract here. Guppy's head gives us damage every room, which Book of Belial does not. Book of Belial does give us more damage, but it's going to happen less often. And we already have the uh, we already have the uh, goat head effect. That's pretty good. Uh, we already have the goat head effect, so we don't really need the Book of Belial passive effect. Plus, Guppy's head does give us the uh, one third chance or one third start to becoming Guppy here. That can be important in a lot of situations. For now, though, we're not uh, necessarily balling out of control at all. Actually, in kind of a an unfortunate position with respect to my HP. I would love to get another HP upgrade before the end of the floor and pick up Gimpy. Or me eh, I'd probably pick up Gimpy. That's Are You a Wizard. That just hurts real bad, doesn't it? If I stand on the other side of the map here, I might be able to land some shots. Otherwise, it's little Steven's time to shine. Oh my god, I can't even... Yeah. Uh, no bombs either, so... I would give up a band or abandon all hope, ye who uh, expected boss rush on this run. Luckily, our rate of fire is pretty good, so I can, you know, make adjustments pretty quickly on the fly. I'm amazed that we have not uh, ended. Are you a wizard? But of course, as I was saying, that it actually ended up happening. There's some more spirit or no, more red hearts. Hopefully, with spirit hearts attached. Just cool it for a second here. Okay. Did well on consumables. I'm hoping that Dark Bomb is about to pay out, but we can we can survive a little bit longer without a payout if we have to. It's all about Little Chad, man. We go a few more rooms, Little Chad will take us, you know, past that equilibrium point, presumably. An actual bomb. And I forgot that we hadn't been to our item room here, which is a great sign when you're not, like, relying on the item rooms, strictly speaking. A sign that things are going your way. All right, that hopefully that's a payout. Robo Baby 2.0, oh, Robo Baby 1.0. Uh, I don't know if it's worse than Robo Baby 2.0, but I'm not that happy about it regardless. And we'll take Liberty Cap. I think it's fine. Not quite ready for a payout. Okay, well in that case, I'll look for the secret room. I'll. I don't really want Counterfeit Penny, which is what we got. Tell you what, we'll blow these guys up. I'll try. Pick up a little extra money. Nope. 
Should have used it on our uh, donation machine instead, but... We'll try to buy a uh, Spirit Heart from our, our shop here. This one's becoming a little bit more of like a grind... Uh, kind of like in a hockey context, like a grind them down kind of game. Uh, I guess we're just going to leave, actually. Hmm. Pretty soon, little Chad will pay out with another half heart, and that'll be our next spirit heart. But, uh, yeah, this is not like, uh, Pavel Bure streaking down the, down the wing and popping, uh, sweet breakaway over John Van Beesbrook. This is a little bit more of, you know, Joel Otto making the U.S. Olympic team for the 1998 Olympics. Curse of Dorkness. Guppy items? Mm, I'll try it anyway. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm thankful for it. It's, it's so weird having Dark Bomb and being like, that sucks, but wait, actually, it's amazing, and I just squandered a little bit of that new potential, but I'm pretty sure that Dark Bomb is close to paying out again anyway. It got two and a half there. So if it had a half, and it couldn't have had a half heart interval before because we had it pick up two uh, red hearts. Yeah, okay, so it, it's got to be like one half red heart away from paying out. Which could happen at the very end of this room, or it could happen right there, for example, Dark Bum. Prove me right, baby. Prove me right. Alright, I was wrong. At this point, uh... I'm hoping that for once on this run, we actually get enough money to buy something from the shop. Admittedly, you know, I've been buying stuff from the shop kind of piecemeal, so... I mean, we, we were up at like a maximum of 13 cents on this run, though. That's like our purchasing power ceiling. I, uh, I would love to pick up BFF. I've gotten very happy about this item recently. I like it a lot. BFF, Mom's Key. Oh, that's not good. BFF, Mom's Key, Hive Mind. Like, and those items are like now my holy trinity on the shop. Fuck mapping, fuck the candles. Also, fuck Curse of Darkness. I hope you guys are actually able to see something here. Alright, we got some friendly spiders. It could be worse. Hive Mind is not just good for those friendly spiders, but good for the uh, juicy sack spiders and good for our guppy's head flies as well. I think this floor is going to be, uh, th this floor has a reasonably good chance to set the tone for what's going to happen on this run. If we get shit items and then we fight Krampus and I do really, really poorly on HP, uh, ba basically what I'm getting is if I take a lot of damage by being an idiot, then we're going to find ourselves in a really tough spot if we get like a cursed necropolis on the next floor. That's a lot of ifs, but we play a lot of games, you know, our sample size is high enough that shit like that, uh, it, it happens and there are, you know, historical precedents for it within our series, so... It's all about minimizing that risk, I think. Mathematically speaking. Easiest way to do that is pretty much just by taking as little damage as possible and letting little Chad and Dark Bum make beautiful music together. Every... is it every fourth room for little Chad? I thought it was... I thought it was every fourth room. But lately we've been getting a half red hard drop pretty reliably every other room. So let's, let's count it. That's once. So zero rooms is what our counter is at right now. Oh, punched the microphone a little bit by accident there just because I'm so GD angry. So if my hypothesis is correct, we should not get a red heart here. Or a half red heart, to be more specific. If we get a red heart, I would assume that that's just the room paying out as opposed to little Chad paying out. If we do get one here... I don't know what to think. <laughs> I don't think anything paid out there. Okay. I like to blow up the mushrooms. Magic Mushroom has a, a pretty high uh, incidence of showing up lately. But I haven't really found too many situations where we have a lot of bombs and there's a lot of uh, intersecting. Oh, it did pay out every other room there. Uh, there's a lot of intersecting mushrooms. Hopefully we find that though. I'm just gonna go in here. Kind of hope that we'd fight greed. Uh, I don't like actually Pandora's box. People have told me that in the caves too, it's better than the caves one because it gives you like a spirit heart or a key or something in addition to one shop or one uh, boss rush, but not boss rush, just one boss item. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I would rather have theirs options anyway. Even if it is true, I'd rather have theirs options. But it's good information to have. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Mini Marsh pickup is fine. And by fine, I mean, uh, that's my kind of coy way of saying, I don't know if Mini Mush is actually bad. I think Mini Mush might actually be an item that's not good. I see people complaining about it a lot. Maybe, and I don't think the complaints boil down to, it's not Magic Mushroom. 
Could be mistaken about that, though. I know with Azazel it's terrible, because it actually lowers your effective range, weirdly enough. Man, I was... Come on, Spirit Heart. Yeah, okay, that does give me a chance at a deal with the Devil, but I'm thinking Krampus. No Krampus? Krampus, no cramps? Oh, beautiful. Um, The Smart Money's probably on Satanic Bible, but I'm going to stick Guppy's Head. Why would I stick with Guppy's Head on a run like... We can always come back for it later, by the way. Why would I stick with... Uh... Guppy's head on a run like this? I like the extra damage, man. Satanic Bible's good, but it's kind of boring. And in a way, I've got like a little bit of a self-punitive thing going on. I'm like, if I can't make my HP work with Little Chad and Dark Bum, I don't deserve to take Satanic Bible, man. That, that's like enough of a boon that I should be... I should be totally fine. It's kind of a, a headstrong way to tackle it, but... Genuinely, there is a little bit of that element in there. Come on. I hate these guys, man. If I ever make a commercial video game, it's either going to be 0% enemies that have invincibility like this or 100% enemies that have invincibility like this. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to use uh, my, my personal turmoil to make the world a better place or just to annoy people because I've been annoyed. Not that interested. But you gotta pay the double key tax, man, just to see what's in the room. That's my philosophy. I'm not mad about it anymore. I'm more just like, you know, th those rooms often have some interesting stuff. That time they didn't. That's alright, we got the keys. Okie dokie. Dark Bomb's gotta be pretty close to paying out again. Uh, Sad Bomb's great item. Fantastic item, one of my favorite synergies. This floor ended up not being as uh, as important as I thought it would be, weirdly enough. We got ten bombs. Let's start looking for secret rooms because there's options is a great pickup. I should have probably uh, tried to get it before the boss fight now that I think about it. We ended up not really getting uh, stellar choices from that boss fight. Are you a wizard? Full health? Well, this was the room that I was hoping to get some value from. We didn't really. This should be a secret room, then. Oh my god, it's on the other side of the freaking map. Um, well, I think we can go- we've already paid for our shop, so I'm pretty sure that we can just bomb our way through the wall and get to it anyway. That's a lot of money, actually, from that. Uh, I'm gonna get there's options. We're gonna blow this up. I refuse to believe that. I know that this seems fucked up. Uh, you know what? It's actually down there. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna go. Let's get the hell out of here. Or let's try, no, I was gonna say let's try Occam's Razor here, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't think there's a point to, like, I mean, there's a point. The point is absurdity, but I don't think there's a good reason to use Satanic Bible, pay three Spirit Hearts and get one Black Heart back if we're not gonna take it permanently. Depths one. Sorry, I wanted to ch check out the time. Very slow run. That's okay. It happens. I know uh, many people are going to disagree with me about about uh, that Satanic Bible play. With Guppy's head, I have already said no to what I would probably consider the best two spacebar items in the game. So I'm really banking on that hive mind pickup. I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, uh, I I like. I guess that's the thing is that I already have good defense, so I don't necessarily need Satanic Bible. And I already have uh, Goat Head, so I don't necessarily need... Wow, that was a great burnt penny there. Uh, so I don't necessarily need Book of Belial. So we find ourselves in this weird kind of uh, position where I, we don't have flies, right? So I think that maybe the flies were the right choice for us, but maybe not. But it's worth noting, you know, people would say, well, if you had, like, Satanic Bible right now, you probably wouldn't have four hearts. That's true, but what if we had Satanic Bible and we had, uh, 12 hearts? Then we'd just be sitting there with a spacebar item that doesn't really do anything for us. I'm not saying it was the right decision to skip Satanic Bible. I'm just saying, you know, that it's not necessarily... You can't prove it via the, uh, the invert there. I can't believe we made it out of there. Thank you. Even if it is just a friendly spider, thank you. I was hoping for a spirit heart there, obviously. Uh, honestly, fish head's not that bad. Liberty cap is not 
necessarily a stellar trinket. I kind of I have some inertia about that as well. We'll take Petrified Poop, actually. That, that solves my problem here. It's a trinket that is not necessarily... Su I've already been there. Not necessarily super stellar, but... Uh, especially in this late later section of the game, but uh, can be useful. Range down. Not a huge problem. Focus on the positive. Oh, shit. Range down. Oh, come on, game. No, it doesn't really matter that much. If you're gonna act like picking up a range upgrade is not that big of a deal, then you should probably act like a range downgrade is not that big of a deal. It's just my philosophy. Trade a key for a key, get into our deal with the devil right off the bat instead of having to wait. It is Krampus. It, you know, my philosophy on Krampus had to happen at some point. Uh, I wish that it had been earlier and maybe replaced one of those deals with the devil that I ended up not really liking that much, but it still went pretty easily. And I'm gonna stick with Guppy's head instead of uh, Krampus's head. I would like to... Oh, those might be are you a wizard pills but I'm still I find myself intrigued by the idea regardless you know what I think I'll go to the curse room right away this should be a payout or close yeah he's one away then I'm gonna go to the curse room right away and I'm glad I did you usually are unless it literally kills you so that was good uh, for HP and for our uh, actual Hurting power, which is great here. Let's blow this up. Maybe this is why I should have been intrigued. Oh, I was hoping, you know, maybe for a little bit of uh, red heart action, but that's okay. We do have one key only, so my, my double key room is unfortunately going to be inaccessible here. Just try it out. Spelunker hat, it's okay. With the bombs that we have, I'm happy. Wow, that was uh, actually a really good petrified poop. Every single poop in the item room paid out there, and one of them paid out with a nickel. That's not going to happen all the time. I gotta turn up my volume here so that I can actually hear when we find a secret room. Don't think it's gonna happen on this room. Probably should have been hit two different ways there. Not twice, but two different ways. Now the pack doesn't make this a one run any more than it was a one run earlier, but uh, it, it helps for sure. And I guess we're really relying on the next floor deal with the devil to, uh, I don't wanna say carry us, but to give us, again, some further momentum in that direction, because apart from the pack pickup, we've been kind of static here in terms of our overall damage. I'm hoping that maybe the shop on this floor will turn it around, but there's actually a relatively decent chance we end up fighting... Uh, we end up fighting greed and ending getting zero items. There's the shop right there. There's a relatively good chance we end up just not having a key to be able to use on it to begin with. That's what I get for saying those double key rooms are always worth opening, just for, uh, just for novelty's sake. Oh, now I don't feel so bad about taking damage, except that you paid out with uh, with an unfriendly spider. It's all it happens. Compass, spirit hearts. I'll buy the compass. Uh, the battery I don't think is too too useful for us. I'll buy this. I'll buy this as long as we stay over five cents. It's fine, and that turned out to be terrible, obviously. But at least we got to go in there, and the the compass pickup is quite nice. Monstro two should not be too bad. Here's my thinking with Monstro two. We'll get him to jump when he jumps. When he does the second phase of his jump cycle, at least, I will put down a sad bomb next to him. And one sad bomb should do quite a lot just for, uh, you know, killing's sake. As long as he doesn't push it too far away. Ah, it didn't do quite as much as it did against Krampus, but Monstro 2 probably has a little bit more HP than Krampus to begin with. Maybe, maybe not. But this is definitely looking like a little bit one, uh, a little bit more of one of those marathon runs. Which is bad, because I don't even have a full cup of coffee inside of me yet. I can notice my brain, uh, you know, not quite working as quickly as I'd like it to. Just, uh, you know, slow-release caffeine into the bloodstream, man. Also, I think my favorite Flaming Lips concept album. Alright. With you dead, we have there's options. Mmm. Interesting. I think we've still got to take the HP. It's not like we have Whore of Babylon yet. It's not like we have a uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility until the next floor, and we're guaranteed deals with the devil, so I'm assuming that these are going to work out. Like we're going to be able to trade this away if we want, or keep it if we want. Another good curse room. Still have not uh, gotten much further into our guppy dreams, but that's okay. Ah, SME Superfan. Now, this very much uh, makes me feel better about taking less than three and getting some HP up, because we were definitely going to take this regardless. People might not love SMB Superfan as much as they love uh, Magic Mushroom Capricorn Halo. 
But it's still an all stats upgrade. It's important to look back sometimes and, you know, remember how far we've come. Remember, even up until like two and a half months ago, three months ago, I thought that all all stats upgrades gave you exactly the same uh, attributes. Basically thought that if something gave you a, a damage up, it was equivalent damage up of everything else. Those were the days, man. Well, it says damage up. It doesn't say two times damage up. It doesn't say damage multiplier on it. In my own defense. But I, I like that. I like that the mechanics are somewhat obscured. Not everybody does, of course. I see people online complaining about rebirth whenever afterbirth is brought up. People being like, why are there so many shitty items in the game? Dare I say, maybe, uh, you know, rebirth isn't the game for you. They're like, it's poor game design. Some items are super useful. Some items are really bad. Nah, man, that's that's what makes every run different and, you know, not all runs are created equal. I think there's two kinds of, of people that play video games. There's definitely more than two kinds of people that play video games, but I saw this particularly in uh, criticism and, well, just discussion in general of, of Darkest Dungeon. It's people who are like, Darkest Dungeon is a really good game and it's fun. Sometimes the RNG fucks you, that's half the fun. And then there's people who are like, Darkest Dungeon is a good game, but the RNG is fucking stupid, and you can do everything right and still lose. That's bad game design. I don't know, man. I definitely fall in the category of, like... And it's not... People always try to, like, justify their, their like of a game as in, Well, in real life, you can do everything right, and you can still end up getting fucked. And then you get into these, you know, ultimate circle jerky discussions. It doesn't matter whether or not it's like real life. I just think it's fun to have like that element of RNG. It's like a dice roll. I know a lot of people, yeah, I guess they don't want their... No, sorry. They don't, I like this run. And we've worked for this run, so I'm going to keep it. We've had the D100 enough recently. And Undefined. And the D4. And Missing No. Sometimes, you know, more than one of those in the same run. Anyway. Um, it, 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 this is so good. It's, it's the irony, trust me, is not lost on me. That as I'm saying, I don't want my game to be determined by a... Or as as I'm saying, I do want my game to be determined by a dice roll. I'm ignoring the item that literally rolls a dice to determine your run. But anyway, you know, it's, it's nice to have a balance too, but... I definitely find myself in the category where I'm like I, like, I like that RNG can fuck you over sometimes. I like that you can technically play pretty much objectively correctly and still lose. Not everybody's like that, but... Uh, I think I think the fun of it is, for me... When you're in that area where it's clear that the RNG is fucking you, but you still have a chance to win. And you're, you're like trying to, you know, really, it, it's a great test of skill to be like, alright, the, the game clearly does not want me to win on this run, but we're going to try anyway. Different strokes for different folks. I just resent the idea that people will be like, oh, that's bad game design. I've designed a lot of games in my day, and I'll tell you, that's a bullshit argument too. You don't like this movie? Make a better movie! I mean, that's not how criticism should work, either. That being said, I don't think you can just say something is bad design if you don't if you don't know that much about design. Maybe they do know a lot about design, and maybe I'm talking shit, I don't know. I don't know anything about design. Sometimes I'm guilty of saying things are good design. What I really just mean is they're good, but I want to sound smarter, so I throw design on the end and everyone goes, Whoa, this Northern Lion guy knows what he's talking about. You know, I try to be as honest as possible in, in, the, in the criticism, and the, the language is a big part of that, man. Let's see what we got in here. Infamy. Wow, I it's like a double key item room. Weird. I think I've had it happen before, but it really just dawned on me how strange that is. Uh, that's for you, Dark Bomb. Thank you very much. You can pay out on the next room. You know, no, no rush. We're doing fine on HP. Uh, no arcade on this floor. Kind of disappointingly, I guess. Not necessarily thinking I'm going to give up a key to go to the uh, the shop in this situation. Man, this is a slower one. Ah, you dick! You jerk sauce, help me out here, man. I think uh, if you look at like the last 20 videos, the enemies I've taken the most damage against are straight up the wall masters. So annoying. I blame myself. Wow, that was way easier. But also, I uh, I blame bad eyes, man. I can't really see the shadow that well on the ground. This is a true story, actually. I think I've told it on the show before, but it might have been like a two and a half years ago. You know, time, the flow of time is distorted in Lordran here. However, uh, I 
I've, I've worn glasses for like one twenty six. I've worn glasses for like fifteen years now. It's a bit of a trip to be able to say you've done something for fifteen years and remember the first time you did it. That's like you know a sign of getting a little older there anyway. Um, I forgot that the moon card maybe not that useful for us in that situation, but that was uh, when I was in like fifth grade, and the way that uh, I discovered that I needed glasses, I was a big fan of NFL football. Weirdly enough. And my favorite team, Denver Broncos, are playing in the Super Bowl. So I was watching it with my parents, and I had to keep asking them, or keep asking them, like every five or six minutes, what the score was. And they were like, you know, you you can't read the scoreboard. I mean, admittedly, the TV was like 19 inches back then. It, we were mostly just cheap, but um, like the big screen TVs existed, but we didn't have one. Out of laziness, mostly, but. Um, I was like, yeah, I can't read that. And they're like, well, we should get your eyes checked. And I'd had my eyes checked, like, at my family doctor that I had for, like, ten years. But he's always just been like, ah, you know, you're fine. You know, your eyes, you're never going to be, like, a jet fighter pilot. But your eyes are pretty good. And I'd, we, we either were like, he's a doctor. Okay, that makes sense. I guess he started practicing medicine in, like, the 1950s. Things were a little bit more lax back then. Then we went to, like, a, a straight-up uh, optician, you know, an eye doctor and did an eye test. And I did so bad on the, basically the way an eye test boils down is like they start at, at least from like zero, they uh, they just show you like an eye chart and then they're like read me the letters and the letters have different font sizes basically and I'm like I can't do it and the eye doctor was like are you joking? So and I was doing fine in school and stuff like that too which was the weird part but I was always sitting at the front of class because otherwise I couldn't actually read the blackboard but yeah the optician was like you probably should have had glasses like eight years ago, which for an eleven year old is great to hear. Anyway, and so I'm not joking about having bad eyes, man. My my, I get my eyes from my dad. My mom is, uh, she's in her 50s, still doesn't even need reading glasses, which is very impressive. My dad has worn glasses since he was fetal. And he still, you know, can barely see. Let's head down to the next floor. That pentagram pickup is pretty nice. I'm still on the fence about whether this is an easy win or not. Curse of the Unknown. We'll have, uh, Curse of the Unknown's a little tricky. I should have paid more attention to the, the balance of our HP. I don't know how much HP we had. We had, we had two plus a, an Eternal Heart. And we traded one away, so we should have two here. The only time it's gonna matter is on a deal with the Devil. I'd say our guppy chances are super bad. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that's probably the politest way to put that. But we're still in a pretty good spot here. I can see forever is fine. I'm gonna stick with Petrified Poop over um, over Eve's Lipstick. I gotta admit, my Trinket game is pretty weak. I gotta I gotta take like a like a six week course over the summer uh, and intensively kind of grind out what these trinkets actually do, so I can make some better decisions. Those are the kind of things that maybe over time could make a long term difference. I'm gonna go back for that. Um, there is a curse room, so we're gonna try for that because we have the HP and and because you know we're in that we're in that sweet spot or shit spot depending on how you want to describe it. We're strong, but we're not strong enough to not want to be stronger. You know, sometimes you have a run that's so good, you're like, I'm not gonna go to the curse room, and I don't give a shit because this run's so good, we're gonna win anyway. Sometimes you have a run, you're like, this run's so shitty, I'm not gonna go to the curse room because we can't afford to the HP there that we. Uh, trade for that curse room could kill us. We're in that spot where we're like, we should go to the curse room. We could afford not to, but we really, really should. So we're going to. And, uh, you know, even even if it doesn't give us the guppy dream, even one more guppy item, if it's practical, could be awesome. Like a nine lives, for example. Bet you didn't think I was gonna go there. We would lose one HP to have, like, way more survivability. In numbers, at least. Um, these guys are all gonna kind of like hue to that center area, I think. Mm, that one, those ones didn't. So I was thinking it was totally fine to just kill them around here. Damage is still pretty bad, man. We can make it work, but. Ah, Guppy's Paw. So if we had 2 HP and a decent number of Spirit Arts, I'm gonna use Guppy's Paw once. I would like permanent Polaroid invincibility, but I'm only gonna use Guppy's Paw once. Because I want to, uh, I want to have one red heart to trade away as opposed to three spirit hearts. 
Which might seem like, what's the difference? They're equivalent if you have Guppy's Paw, but... I also worry that by using it twice, we might have only gotten... For two hearts, instead of getting six Spirit Hearts, we might have only gotten like five or four as a result of the fact that I could be closer to the HP cap than I think. Uh, so, so better to store it in kind of its latent form, I think. That was terrible. I don't know what I was thinking there. I could be mistaken also, but I, I don't know. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Rusted Key. I think it's probably better to take Rusted Key at this point. Mama Gertie. We can't fly, so I, I feel okay using High Priestess against Mama Gertie. Uh, we'll probably take a little bit of damage on the spikes here if I'm being realistic, and I pretty much walked myself onto that one, but I've accepted that I have no reaction time and will not get out of the way of those attacks anyway. So that was probably the worst Mama Gertie fight I've had in quite some time. We'll take Super Bandage, and we will become Guppy. Okay, how much HP do we have? We have two, I think. So I'll take the Collar first, and then we'll take the Horror of Babylon. I'm not even going to try for the other one just in case we get into some funky shit. That should give us an easy win now. Okay, our HP is fine. Um, I don't really want a an HP upgrade. We don't have any curse on this floor though, so I think we're pretty much fine to do whatever we want to do. I can wait. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Uh, we'll blow this up. We'll blow this up. Red hearts are good. Money's good. Here we go. Uh, we got four more cents. I would expect this guy to pay out somewhere in this, you know, subset of our finances. If not, that's fine too. I'll go to our curse room because now we can fly. With Horror of Babylon, like, our damage is going to be just stupid great now. Should probably still use Guppy's head. There's not much reason not to. Okie dokie. Turns out we didn't even need to pick up the collar if we didn't want to, but I'm, I'm glad we did regardless. Doesn't make a huge difference. Um, yeah, let's check out our secret room. At this point, like, what excuse do we have not to do a little bit more exploring? Oh, that was a total waste of a bomb. Pride fight. Uh, at best, we get shoot the whoop here, I think. No. What am I talking about? At best, we get... Uh, uh, not shoot the whoop of the other one, Anarchist Cookbook. Yeah, what's the other shitty item? Anarchist Cookbook, that's it. Uh, I am going to not worry too much financially about this situation. Pretty much just gonna escort us to the boss room as quickly as possible, I guess, now that we've tackled a lot of the special rooms. There's still a boss trap room up there, but I don't know what I'd be hoping for. Oh, we should go back. I thought if I left quickly enough, he would drop it on the next room, but I guess I left uh, too slowly. Without Mom's Key, that's a pretty stellar payout. And this room, like, we had this room on the last floor, and it was way more of, like, an ordeal. On this floor, it was mostly just a time killer. And now we're almost at the HP cap. All right, so our, our dream has pretty much come true here. That's awesome. This run was uh, pretty much the epitome of that sentiment I used to have in vanilla, where, like, Isaac is all about... Surviving long enough for the game to give you what you need to succeed and on, on this floor or I should say on this run uh, That's pretty much exactly what happened We were That's over there. We were a little bit behind the eight ball for a long time But eventually it all worked itself out, but man I would kill for hive mind right now that goes for every run there should be like a mandatory hive mind room Every run there make it so Krampus pays out with Krampus's head or Lump of Coal, or Hive Mind, or BFF. All of a sudden, complaints about Krampus drop to an all-time low. Who doesn't like those items? Which is a little bit ironic, because for a while I thought they did the same thing, and then for a longer while I was like, these aren't that good. I really like them now, though. You got something for me? He was homing in on me, I was pretty sure. Uh, why are we taking full health instead of uh, strength? Because neither of them are valuable. That kind of goes true for our stars card as well, but we can use it to teleport out of our curse room if we so choose. This is actually my, my favorite version of death, I think. But my favorite version of death is whatever one we kill as quickly as possible. And we're at the HP cap, so we've finally reached the point at which uh, Dark Bomb is worthless. Sorry to say it, Dark Bomb. I knew that this point would happen eventually, but... <laughs> 
I was thinking more like, you know, Caves 2. Took a little bit longer than expected, but all's well that ends well, I suppose. Isaac's Fork is just terrible for us. The other criticism that I see that shows up all the time, this one really bums me out, man. Like, it, it doesn't make me mad. I think I'm just gonna take the damage hit, honestly. Um, because there's so many spirit hearts available for us anyway. This one, it doesn't make me mad, it just bums me out. People will be like, the item descriptions in Rebirth aren't good, and I don't like having to play the game with a wiki open next to me. And I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> I don't even know what half the shit does still, and it's still so much fun. Like, I don't know. You, you're entitled to play the game however you want. That's like, you know, and it, to each their own. However, if you're playing the game with the wiki out and you're like, I don't want to be doing this, you totally don't need to do that. I'm proof positive. Like, I'm patient zero for that style of gameplay. Yeah, but I don't want to end up like you, Northern Lion, a guy who only reliably wins 94% of his runs. That's fair, I guess, you know. I'm just saying, you know, if, it, if it's bumming you out to play with the wiki, don't play with the wiki, man. You'll be fine. You'll sort out what the items do more or less. You don't absolutely need to know, um, you know, the exact minute, banal minutia of every single Isaac item in order to have a good time and in order to even succeed pretty reliably. It helps. It does help. It'll it'll help you make good decisions, and especially you know with a large enough sample size, making uh, optimal decisions will help out your uh, your stats. But uh, it, it just bums me out to see people like slagging off the game a little bit for its own I don't know intended design to some extent. Not to say that it's, that rebirth is immune from criticism. I would never uh, want to you know protect that idea. However, those criticisms fall on deaf ears for me personally. We're on the chest. That's good. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll D4 myself to start with. What is going on here? Monstro's Lung? Monst oh my god, it's so bad. It's good. Um, and I, I figured I'd just D4 myself once. Just to see what's up. We got Isaac's Heart on this too. Are you fudging my brown hole? Uh, we're going this way. But I wanted I didn't want to lose those items because those items are really good. I do have bloody lust here. I why does this always seem to happen? Fucking uh Fire Mind Monstro's Lung happens all the time. Now I got to reroll my whole run again. I'll throw some bombs down in here, man. I don't want to fight any of these enemies. Cuz the Fire Mind makes it too much of a liability. Monstro's Lung, Fire Mind, no range happens so often, it, it blows my mind. I'll let Gemini do its damage here. Do we have BFF now? I don't know. Some of these familiars are looking pretty big. Mind you, all this being said, we are doing a lot of damage to enemies when we hit them. Flies aren't hurting either. Uh, right, I keep wondering, I'm like, why am I getting hurt? And then I realize, of course, we have Isaac's heart. Which I should be standing in front of, but... I think the D4 has, like, a built-in troll mechanic that is, like, give him an item that kind of sucks. We have an extra life here. I don't know what it is. We're probably going to actually lose that extra life, um... Now that I think about it. When we reroll. Not because we're going to, you know, lose it immediately or anything like that. Uh, tell you what, we'll chariot card this room. Our shots do do a ton of damage, and I got to say doo doo, so I'm happy. Don't fuck with this run, though. I worked my ass off for it. That, that might be a little bit of a, an exaggeration. Okay, now we got quad shot technology, little brimstone, rotten baby, sissy long legs, daddy long legs as well. We got all the long legs. This is a, a pretty good setup that I'm happy to take with me into the blue baby fight. Yeah, this, this won't be a problem. Alright. This was more what I was hoping for. It was just kind of like a ridiculously good run. We still have a $3 bill, I think. Great item that is actually like a super liability with the D4. Some of the time, at least. Oh, but man, these spiders are doing so much damage. I think this is actually going to be super quick. Alright. 
As soon as the spiders and flies get their aggro, this is going to be uh, a real quick one. We got decent damage. You know, we got stuff like Blood of the Martyr. I mean, we have quad shots to begin with. If we can hit with those quad shots, that matters a lot. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.